wait a couple seconds. Just make sure I get everything on the camera. Okay guys, well in today's video, or in this video I should say, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to clean the cartridges uh, with rubbing alcohol. And also I'm going to try, I heard you can also take rubbing alcohol and remove Sharpie, so hopefully that's true. So I'll see if I can get the number 23 off this thing. I actually did get the sticker off, luckily without damaging it. Out of the whole area of this cartridge, you had to put the sticker right on top of here. I mean, honestly, you couldn't put it down here. I don't know, it was a barcode sticker. Obviously it was from a, uh, either probably, probably game craze at one point. But, um, yeah, so, got a huge bottle of rubbing alcohol. Which, uh, it's brand new. <laughs> I probably should have took this off before I made the start of the video, but I didn't realize it was on there. Let me get my knife. Luckily my pocket knife's right here. Let me just poke a hole. And there we go. So let's just... Doesn't really matter, we can just pull it back. There we go. So you take your Q-tip, dip it in the rubbing alcohol. And let's try the uh, Sharpie first. So let's see if I can get this in the video. I think it's doing something. I'm trying not to get it on the uh, the actual sticker here. Eh. It's kind of, it's probably been on there for a while. I also heard you can also try hairspray. But the only problem is with hairspray, I gotta spray it on here and I'll have a good chance of hitting the sticker there. I don't know, we'll see. It looks like it's starting to get it off, but let me, uh, I also have some paper towels here. Let me, uh, Try it this way. No, it doesn't seem to be doing it. Well, I'll <clears throat> go on YouTube and look up some other home remedies and get rid of Sharpie. But anyway, uh, throw this one out. Take a new cotton swab. And let's clean the actual inside. That might be a little too damp. So that's the other reason why I have the uh, paper towel. And let's go in and clean the inside. And yeah, it is dirty. Wow. Let's see all the crap coming off of it. Look at that. Oh. You guys can see that. Look at all that crap. Probably the first time they've ever been cleaned in a while, so... I know, uh... These two right here, I can't even play them, so I, I know these are probably really, really dirty. But, uh... I think that one's pretty good. I might, I might do it again, but for this video I'll just do it once because we got a few to go through. I also have some Sega Genesis games, so let's do a Genesis game next. So let's... Just go back and forth. Alright. Take your dry side and dry it off. Let's get whatever material left behind. Alright. So, let me skip to 
This is Home Alone 2. I couldn't even get this guy to play, so let's see. Let's see if we can see how much dirt's on this thing. Oh yeah. Definitely can see why it can't be played. Look at that. This thing is probably just covered with crap. Yeah. This probably has never been cleaned. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Probably why it couldn't be played. I'm gonna do it one more time with a new one. Just because I think it's pretty bad that I'm pretty sure it just needs it. Probably whoever the previous owner was probably didn't clean it. So, I got these at a flea market, so. Yeah, this thing is pretty dirty. Yeah. Well, hopefully it should play now. I'm gonna leave these little plastic dust protector off and let it air dry for a little while. So that's done, that's done, that one's done. Let me uh let me do this one too because this one's pretty dirty. Yep. This one hasn't been cleaned in a while either. I just cleaned the inside of my um, third party um, it's an NES slash Super Nintendo uh, player. It's one of those third party ones where you can play you know, uh, two different systems, cartridges on it, so, um, at some point I'll pick up the Sega, Gen well, the, the NES and Super Nintendo, um, I do plan to get the other models of the Sega Genesis, um, today I picked up the Model 1, but, uh, yeah, that's what the inside looks like, and you basically want to go back and forth, both sides. So this one, uh, this one wasn't as bad. I mean, it was pretty dirty, but hopefully it should play better now. I'm gonna go get some more cotton swabs because <laughs> I didn't have enough. Hopefully that should be enough to finish off this video. Uh, let me do it one more time. Like I said, just you take the dry side and dry it all off. I'm probably never ever going to finish off this uh, rubbing alcohol in my lifetime. I don't think that's a lot. Uh, even with all the cleaning the audio and video heads of VCRs and doing this, I doubt it I'll use up the whole thing in my lifetime. That's a lot. I don't know. I mean, I guess if I get really crazy in collecting video games, maybe. I mean, I am planning on getting pretty serious, but I don't know. We'll see. 
That one's done. And we got the three Sega Genesis games left. These are pretty, this guy's pretty rough. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but he's, uh, this one has seen its day. It's a little, looks like something was chewing on it at some point. Probably a pet. This one's pretty dirty. Oh yeah, this one has never been cleaned. At least not a long time, jeez. Look at that. See that? This one definitely needs to be done again. I gotta read up online and see if you can clean the contacts inside the actual players. I have to find out because I'm pretty sure they get pretty dirty as well. I have to read up if it's safe to uh, do something like this to the inside of the, the console. I'll have to look that up. But uh, that looks a lot better now. You can even see there's a chip on the side there. Okay, so whoever had this before did not take care of his, of his games. This one's also missing a chunk on the side there. Yeah, this one's pretty much the same as the last one. Yeah, that's better. Finally, we got the uh, Tiny Tunes, which I guess is a uh, spin off to the Looney Tunes. Probably when the Looney Tunes were kids. I think I remember I used to watch a show like that. I think that's what it's about. Yeah. When they were kids. This thing is pretty dirty. And uh, there you go. So I'm going to let these air dry for a little while and get them all nice and uh, hopefully that should uh, make the... I'm going to test uh, later tonight, I'm going to test out the two games I weren't able to play. Uh, these two I didn't get, didn't get to play at all because they wouldn't even... Every time I put them in the um, third party player, they wouldn't even come up. So I can see why they were so dirty. So, but I have tested uh, this game out on my third-party uh, player, and um, it worked fine. So I know the player works, and uh, I'm gonna look up on YouTube see if there's any uh, besides hairspray. Maybe, well, maybe I could uh, point the can at the, at a uh, paper towel. Maybe get some residue on there and try to rub it off that way. I'll try that. But uh, I'm going to look up some more ways on how to uh, take off Sharpie because I really like to get that off. But I'm pretty happy that I got that one stupid uh, barcode sticker off. That was, a, that was a pain. Well anyway guys, thank you for watching this video and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.